What is up, everyone? This is that bloody one from Castle Clash. And today is our second day on the new account. Now, when you ever you see this flashing arrow down here, you pull it up and you collect these gems. Another thing you can do to help get gems is remove some of these decorations, which we will need removed at some point anyways. And these also give achievements out that will give you gems. as well as each plant is giving gems by itself as you can see here by these little purple bubble or these purple numbers going up here so I will go ahead and clear all these out And at this point, you will have limited amount of workers that you can use later on once you have a full team of legendary heroes. You will be able to put some gems into getting your workers hired, and those go up to five. But first you want the full team of legendary heroes before you even start worrying about that. Your most important thing as a starting account is going to be getting as a full team of legendary heroes because legendary heroes are much stronger than either of the other two classes I have run out of gold so I will go ahead and raid to get a little bit more gold I'm gonna try to find a base with heroes that I can defeat and as you can see as I promised him at the end of my last video I would get my heroes up to 20 and you see that I have done that I also have a full team of legendaries that I will go over in a minute let's see this base looks pretty good. Now I'm going to be dropping with Dread Drake because he is my strongest hero. He also tends to do a mess load of damage. And whenever you raid, you want to get at least 50% because if you lose the raid, you lose 10 honor badges versus gaining honor badges if you win. Now mind you, it's not a lot of honor badges that you gain, but it is helpful in the end. Alright, so this is the last plant that we have. So we've got 370 now from collecting those. Now let's see what we have after the achievements.
we now have 400 so we got 30 of them now I always like to keep at least 300 gems so I won't be rolling any gems today because you will need them later on for the quest boards now when you see this little icon here it means you have a free talent refresh you get one of these a day as well as you can hire a free hero a day and when you get them up to level 20 if you have enough honor badges it will go through this tutorial showing you the upgrades and it's roughly a 30% upgrade in hit points and in damage when upgrading a hero to the next star level so I will go ahead and do that I've got enough honor badges to where I can upgrade all of the heroes that I currently am using but you see here for the same level for the two star instead of 400 damage you get 610 damage instead of 8600 hit points it goes up to 13,400 hit points and he moves a little quicker so things will get done a lot quicker and while working on things yesterday getting my heroes up to 20 I got a full team of legendary heroes so I've got Pixie, which is my healer. I've got Dread Drake, who's my tank, because he's got a lot of hit points. I've got Gunslinger, who is a really good sniper. Then I've got Rock now, who heals himself, which is a really good utility to have. And then I've got a theme that is also a sniping type hero. So I will go ahead and take a look at my talents and for your for the beginning you don't really care what talents you have on your heroes as long as they are not a level one eventually you will want to get better talents that are more suited for your heroes but at this point in the game you're not gonna have the resources to be able to do so and for rock known having a uh, self-healing ability the tenacity level 2 is pretty good for him as it gives him a, an additional 15 percent health now also what I have done is I have cleared out all the way to dungeon 3 I have been able to three flame everything however if you do get stuck on a dungeon it is not important at this point in the game to three star or three flame each of your dungeons if you get two stars or even one star as long as you can continue to progress then you are on the right track and when you get a certain amount of flames from each dungeon you will end up having these this chest here that's lighting up 
and you can claim some rewards like you get for dungeon one you have nine shards and 270 honor badges for dungeon two 24 shards and 720 honor badges and as you see here I did not reflame every base in these dungeons at some point you'll want to come back and do these dungeons especially these ones with this blue tower which means it has a higher possibility of dropping shards so with my heroes upgraded I'm going to go ahead and try to clear this dungeon out and I may need to use my healing spell that I've got down here that I did not get to show you guys yesterday and it looks like I'm not going to but you see all these little helicopters that is gunslingers special ability that makes her a sniper those helicopters can go anywhere on the base and kill things and it looks like we're gonna clear these out pretty easily here so we've got that done now when you reach, I believe it is 1,500 might, you can open up this quest board here. And it will give you a list of quests that you can do and you can see some of the rewards for completing X amount of, of the tasks on the board. You also get rewards based on each of these tasks and you want to do these achievements every day as well as you can go ahead and look at these achievements in the training log and start getting some of those done let's see here it wants two elite dungeons now what's nice is that in an update I believe it was last year you could start to sweep dungeons and here be monsters once you have three flame the dungeon or cleared the here be monster waves now since I want to try to level all of these heroes evenly I will go ahead and queue all five of them but if you have one hero that's lagging behind the rest say that hero dies more often and you keep uh, keep raiding and keep doing dungeons without that hero then you will want to prioritize the lower level hero now another thing is you can build up these army camps as high as you want them because one thing that is extremely helpful in dungeons is troops and you don't want to train up every type of troop that is possible in the game at least not to start with what I like to do is go down this hunter chain to begin with So I will go ahead and work on leveling these 
hunters up. And you can see off to the side what additional bonuses they will get as you level them. Now the reason why you don't want to level them all is because at this point in the game you don't want to increase might and each of these will increase your might. Like if you look here I've got 3,443 and if I go ahead and click this free I now have 300, 467. Uh, and when you get to level 2 of this bottom tier, you will unlock the next chain of troops. But you want to pick one of these two center chains and train them up. Later on in the game, you will want to train these guardians to level 5 and when you are fully sustainable then you will be able to train them train up all of the troops but to begin with you don't want to do that now I don't have enough gold to continue training that so it is off to more raids Guy's got his base all over the place. This looks like a good base to start with. And it will give me enough gold to be able to continue to level up my tr selected troops. And you can see that raid went a lot faster than the raids yesterday. Let's see, we want to bring our heroes up to level 40. Also, from completing different things, you will get a bunch of these books that will make training extremely easy. So I will bring all of these up to level 40 and I should be able to unlock them again to get to level 60 heroes. Now, as I was saying, you want to do these in priority mode, just like with everything else to get your tanks and your healers upgraded first. Now, you see here, I completed this achievement and I get five honor badges or honored badge boxes which gives me 2500 honor badges so you want to complete these training logs as you get them
they will be extremely helpful to you. Now another tip is that when you upgrade your heroes you want to do them right around reset because right after reset all of the might ra uh, rankings reset which means when you unlock these heroes to the next star level and bring them up to where they're capped again you will be facing bases that were the same level as you as of the reset. So it makes things a lot easier when it comes to raiding as well as it will help you clear out dungeons better. And if you have any heroes that are level 1, they do not add might. But you can consume any of the heroes that you are not actively using. Like I can consume this executioner here. To drop my might a little bit however he's only level 4 so he's not going to add much might And leveling up your heroes will be a process of raid, 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 raid. Because you never end up having just enough for all the heroes in your vaults. And this continues all the way through the game. However, when you get to later levels, you will be concentrating on one hero at a time whereas I have the luxury of leveling all these up currently and if you do not have enough honor badges to level up your or upgrade your heroes then you can do these dun or these uh, arena attempts. However, you probably won't get very far into them. Like I'm r rank 128,000 right now. But each week you get honor badges based on your rank in arena as well as you get hourly rewards based on your rank as well as every victory that you get you get a higher amount of honor badges and if you lose it's a little bit lower like you see here it says that it's 50 through 120 honor badges if I win I get the 120 if I lose I get the 50 so for a new account that's gonna be a win-win situation
and also as you raid you will get your daily requirements for these stealing gold and mana as well as doing arena you get five gems and you get ten gems each for the stealing gold from raiding I need to exit that and form my team now you can have even at low levels up to six heroes in your team for arena but you don't want that many to begin with because you're gonna add more might and also as I was saying last time always make sure to do your dungeons Now I'm going to end the video here and I will continue to level up my heroes and I will pick back up the series tomorrow and show you some more things that you can do. And so that is all for now. Level up those heroes and uh, do, keep doing your dungeons. Keep doing your raids to top off your vaults as much as you can and keep leveling these hero bases as well as your vaults. Alright, that is it. As always, enjoy! Remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell!